Hi, welcome to Road by Culture. I'm your host, Kevin Isley. Today we're going to talk about going commando. That's right, sans underwear. Why do cyclists do it? Well, it comes down to science, the science of friction. When you're new to the sport of cycling, there is a lot of things that seem kind of weird. One of them, probably the biggest one, is not wearing underwear under your cycling clothes. Wearing underwear between your chamois and your skin allows for a layer of friction, a constant rubbing, which will irritate your skin and cause chafing. Underwear tends to bunch up when riding a bike with lycra shorts on, and this bunching causes hot spots. Most people wear cotton underwear, and cotton likes to wick away moisture from your skin, but it doesn't want to get rid of it. It wants to hold it there and stay in a moist environment. This moisture plus friction plus heat causes skin chafing and this is a painful situation. The chamois is there to provide padding for the cyclist and to wick away moisture from your skin through the chamois out to evaporation, creating a dry environment. They're also designed to give you perineal support and gentle traction on the saddle. This traction is gonna help with the friction on your skin to cut down on saddle sores. They make male-specific chamois and female-specific chamois. This technology is here, people, and it's awesome. There's no reason to wear underwear. Wearing underwear while riding your bike is not the only reason you would get a saddle sore. You could be wearing bib shorts that are too big for you. This little bit of extra room is gonna cause friction, and that's gonna cause a saddle sore. So you may wanna check the fit of your shorts. But if your bike is fit perfectly, and you've got the right kind of shorts on, and you're still getting saddle sores, it probably means you're just riding a lot. So what do I do? How do I not get saddle sores? Well, the number one thing cyclists use is chamois cream. The thing is nobody ever talks about chamois cream. Nobody tells you how to put it on or where to put it. The basic thing that you wanna do is create a frictionless zone and that's what chamois cream does. You have two ways of doing it. Way number one, apply directly to your perineal area. Way number two, apply it to your chamois. Although I wouldn't do it that way because I don't want to put a wet, sticky, damp chamois on my perineum. Well, I think we just about covered it. Commando, go free, be free my children. If you like this episode, please subscribe to my channel. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram. I'm everywhere. And until then, I hope to see you out on the road.